Greetings. Today we're going to walk you through how to cross list a course in Canvas. Last school year, each teacher was assigned one Canvas course. And that one Canvas course, each of their periods, if they taught the same subject, would be a section in that one course. That means if I was a seventh grade social studies teacher and I taught four period, four periods of seventh grade social studies, each period would be a section under one course. This assisted or enabled teachers the ability to only have to maintain one Canvas course for all of their classes. So when I posted assignments, I only posted assignments once because it naturally went to all of the sections. This year, however, each class period has its own Canvas course, which means if I teach one subject and I have four periods of that same subject, each one of those periods has its own Canvas course. This allows me to post different assignments for different classes. Sometimes classes move ahead of other classes or sometimes they fall behind, but this allows a teacher to be able to offer differentiated assignments based on where their classes are at. But remember, assignments and pages will not automatically appear in all of the other courses because each subject, each class period has its own Canvas course. However, you have an option. This is currently what's going to happen. Four courses, if I have four periods, regardless of the subject, I'm gonna have a course for each period. I can cross list a course and it can go one course with four sections. Well, how do you cross list? So you're gonna take your four classes and you're gonna determine which one of these four classes would you like to be the parent course. If I'm gonna select period one, that's gonna be my parent course, which means that's one Canvas course, but with all of the other periods as sections in that one Canvas course. So let's walk through this actually in Canvas and see how this actually happens. So right here, I'm inside my course. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just determine which one of these courses is going to be my parent course. At this time, I'm selecting period four to be my parent course. So I'm in period four. I'm gonna come up here to the bar and I'm going to highlight and copy the numbers at the end of this address, okay? I'm gonna copy it, press copy. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my other courses that are going to be up underneath the course that I selected as my parent course. So now I'm gonna go to third period. I select third period. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come all the way down at the very bottom and I'm gonna select settings. When I select settings, it's now telling me that the only section for this third period is third period. I'm gonna select sections, which is already selected for me. And I'm gonna select the section. When I select the section over here on the right hand side, it says that cross list this section. Before I press this, I do want to remind everyone that this needs to be done before students have submitted any assignments. Once I cross list the section, if students have already submitted assignments in their separate courses, that information will not travel with that student. So now you're looking for some grades here or some grades there. So it's very important that if you're gonna cross list a course to ensure that you do it before you have any student submission, okay? So let's go over here and let's press cross list this section. 
when I have this, an option comes up. It says, I can either search for the course that I want to move this course to, or I can put in the course ID. Remember, we've already copied that course ID, so now I'm gonna paste it. And I'm gonna press enter. And there you see, that's the selected course that I want this course, period three, to be up underneath. I'm gonna select cross list this section. And it says, it's done, it has happened. So right now it took me to, it took me to the course that I want to be my parent. And now I, it's telling me that this is now a section inside of that course. All right, let's come over to our courses just to take a look. Look, look what now happens. Remember, now period three is a section underneath fourth period. I'm gonna do the same thing for second period. We're gonna do it one more time so that you can see. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom. I'm gonna select settings. I'm gonna be under course section and I'm gonna select that section. And over here on the right-hand side, it says cross list the section. Remember, I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna paste periods four course ID because I want all of my periods to go under period four. I'm gonna press enter and it's telling me that's the course that I've given that ID number for. I'm gonna select cross list the section. And so now what we're gonna see Let's go over here to period four. We're going to scroll all the way down. We're just checking to make sure that it's all there. And now, as you see, you have these three sections. You already have period four, there's three and two. So now, my courses that were all separate course now are cross listed underneath one course. But let's say I decided I wanna do it, but I decided, you know what, this is not what's best for my course. You can always decross, but remember, you need to do that before student work is submitted. So let's go to section two. And I don't want that to be under, up underneath the course anymore. I'm gonna select decross listed section and so now what you're gonna notice, if I go back over here, now you're gonna see that period two is now decross listed from period four. If you have any questions on how to do this, or if you need any type of support, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are here to support you as you navigate through this option. Have a great day.